in this lecture we are going to learn about assignment problem using branch and bound so first let's try to understand what is an assignment problem so you are given n jobs okay so you are given n jobs and there are n persons all of them can do all of the jobs but they charge you differently okay so cost of the person i doing job j is also given so this is a cost matrix so find the best job assignment okay so it's basically something like this there are four jobs and four people a b c d are there and now the thing is i know that okay person a can do job one with cost nine person a can do job two with cost two person a job three in cost seven person a can do job four in cost eight similarly let's see job two can be done by person a in cost two job two can be done by b in four rupees job two can be done by c in eight job two can be done by d in four okay units of cost so this is something that is given now you have to find the best assignment that okay which job should be done by person a which should be done by person b and so on so that your total cost for doing all the jobs job one two three four is minimum or all the end jobs okay so what's this problem about so if you think about brute force okay so how many possibilities are there let's try to think so there are n persons one two three four till n and there are n jobs so every permutation of job if you do like j1 j3 j2 j6 and j let's say 10 something like this so any permutation so we see that it will be n factorial possibilities are there for assignment of job okay if there are n jobs and n people so we have n factorial permutations see these many so for example with four people we have four jobs we have four factorial total number of cases which is equal to 24 now let's try to see so we will solve this problem by branch and bound which is kind of checking all possibilities but trying to reduce our search space so let's try to first find what is the search space so for example four jobs are there and four people are there okay so this means what we have let's say the job one okay a one does so first is we have we are trying to draw the state space what is the total search state space so you see that let's say job j1 we are considering first to assign this can be assigned to a this can be assigned to b this can be assigned to c or this can be assigned to j1 can be assigned to d so four possibilities are there so these branchings will happen now if j1 is equal to a then i try to find what are the possibilities for job 2 so if j1 has already been assigned to a so you j2 can only be b it can be c or j2 can be equal to d okay these three possibilities so this is the level for j2 i will write it here okay and this j2 can be here it will be equal to a c or d this side it can be equal to a b and d this place is can be a b and c okay so these are there so now let's try to cover the third level okay so at the third level if you see now we have a and b a job one was done by a job two by b so job three here j3 can be c or j3 can be d and basically if it is c then only possibility is j4 is j4 is equal to d and here j4 is equal to c so now let's try to change the color of pen it's more clear then so here j3 is so a and c are done j3 can be b or it can be d now your j4 will be 
in this case it will be a c b so only thing left is d here it will be b so you draw trees like this so this is the total search space j1 is a j2 is d your j3 can be b and c so if it is b then this will be c and this is c so it will be b something like this so in the last level you will get so in this one node from the top level it has got one two three four five six so six leaves are there if you extend this tree so you will get six plus six plus six plus six so overall 24 leaves will be there which will be all the 24 permutations of j1 j2 j3 j4 okay so now we have if we draw all those permutations so this by brute force you can find the cost but the thing is we want to reduce the search space so here how will you find for let's say this is one job assignment here so j3 is equal to d so what will be the cost here i will find that okay from the cost matrix what is the cost of assignment of j1 to a j2 to b j3 to d and j4 to c like this you can find the cost and then find the minimum cost among the 24 assignments okay that is there okay so this will run there are n factorial cases but now let's try to see how we will do it with branch and bound so branch and bound basically tells first of all we try to find what is the lower bound on the assignment of jobs okay so one lower bound we can think of is by seeing the matrix okay so for each job what is the minimum cost okay so job one can be done by a in nine b in six c in five and d in seven so five is the minimum cost in which i can do job one job two okay it can be done the minimum cost is two and job three so five this was done by c two it was done by a and then job three it is minimum cost is one and it is again being done by c and job four is being done in minimum cost by d so which is four so so again this is the lower bound you can never find something lower than this so five plus two seven eight 12 is the lower bound if this is the assignment but of course this is not a proper assignment because c is being assigned job 1 and job 3 both which is not correct but at least this will be your lower bound you cannot get anything lower than this another way is we row wise we search okay what is the cheapest way thing job which a can do so he can do job 2 so 2 person b the cheapest is 3 job 3 for person c it's 1 and for person d it's 4 so 4 5 plus 3 8 10 so this is another low and bound if we are seeing for each person what is there so but again here 2 was for so here i'm considering job 2 person b is doing job 3 in the cheapest way person c also doing job 3 and person D, he is doing job D, job 4, okay. So again, this is not a proper assignment, but at least it tells that, okay, this is the lower bound. So this is what I'm telling. So one lower bound is take minimum entry from each row, lowest cost job done by each person we saw in the example and take the minimum entry from each column. So both way we try to find and note that these might not be the valid assignment as we saw there, but at least this is the lower bound now what we try to do is that we start this is the cost matrix given a b c d are four people we start and what is the lower bound so here we are trying to assign a i try to first assign the first person i assign his job then second person i assign the job and so on so at level one i try to assign job to the person a so first what is the lower bound so a can be assigned that minimum is two if he has assigned job 2 b if he is assigned job 3 it is the minimum c if he is assigned job 3 again the cost is minimum and d if it is assigned job 4 it is the minimum and this is 4 5 8 and 10 okay so this is the lower bound okay you can never find something lesser than that okay so now what we try so this is the initial case 
and the possibilities for assigning jobs to A are I can assign him job 1, I can assign him job 2, job 3 or job 4 because these are the 4 possibilities. So I assign them A all these jobs and then we see which is what are the lower bounds now. So first thing is if A is assigned job 1 it means now 9 cost is already incurred then what is there so now lower bound how we are getting 17 so 9 is already the cost b can be assigned still 3 c minimum cost is 1 and d minimum cost is 4 so 10 plus 3 14 plus 4 okay so let's try to see 10 13 plus 4 17 so this is there now if a is assigned j2 then what is the minimum if a is assigned j2 then this is the cost 2 for that one 2 plus if what are the lower bounds still so b with his lowest cost job is 3 c is 1 and d is 4 so again this sum is 8 so 8 this is 10 so this lower bound is 10 if a is assigned j3 it is 7 and then 3 plus 1 plus 4 so it is 8 plus 7 okay so what is happening okay so one thing more we need to see okay so one thing that why my computation was wrong here is that a is assigned j3 okay it means he has already been assigned now so now lower bound found finding it's a bit different why because a is assigned job 3 so its cost is 7 already then what we do now b cannot be assigned job j3 because it's already assigned now so what i do i move and find the next minimum which is 4 c again he cannot be assigned job j3 he gets 5 and d can get 4 here so you cannot use now j3 because it's already assigned to a so now it is 7 plus 4 11 plus 5 16 plus 4 20 so this is now you are getting if a is assigned j4 the last possibility then what happens a is assigned j4 so it's 8 plus b can be assigned j3 that is fine c can be assigned j3 that is also fine for us and d but he cannot be assigned j4 no, because it's already taken by a so 6 or j2 so 6 plus 1 7 plus 3 10 18 this is what you are getting lower bounds so now we have four branchings and now we have to see out of these live nodes. So these are called live nodes which we have found. Out of these which one should I branch again. So this one not it's not in branch and bound it's not depth first or breadth first but it's the best first search. Okay. So what it means now which is the minimum which is giving us the lower lowest lower bound. So it's 10 it means that okay i can get assignment which is very lower compared to these so i tried this and in fact it's not necessary this will always give the best solution but at least it's looking more promising now so i try branching them and now i'm trying to assign job to b so because a is already assigned j2 here so b can be assigned j1 j3 or j4 but not j2 so if let's say b is assigned j1 it means what a was assigned j2 so 2 is the cost let's use different color so 2 is already there and then b is assigned j1 so b is assigned j1 so 6 6 plus 2 is 8 and then these two are already used so c can be assigned 1 and d can be assigned 4 so 5 plus 6 11 plus 2 13 you will get okay so this is fine this part a is already assigned j2 then your b is assigned now j3 so b is assigned j3 so this one this is gone so 3 plus 2 5 already there c will be now assigned 5 and your d will be assigned 4 so 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 2 14 so this is there and similarly you can find out lower bound for if b is assigned j4 okay so it comes out to be 17 okay let's try to do this also so a is j2 okay so this cost was 2 b's cost if i'm assigning j4 to it so it's 7 now so this one is already used this column is already used c can be assigned 1 
that is their minimum and d can be assigned 4 it cannot be assigned because j4 has been taken by b it can be assigned 7 or 6 6 also it cannot be assigned j2 has been taken by a so 7 so this is 7 plus 7 14 plus 1 15 plus 2 17 so this is how you come to it now what are the live nodes again let's try to see what are the live nodes this is live okay this is live this is live this we have already explored and this is live this is live this is live out of these 17 20 18 17 14 13 this is the cheapest most promising okay lower bound is very small i take it again explore i assign now c we have need to assign job c c a job so c can be assigned now what j2 and j1 have already been assigned so c can be assigned j3 or c can be assigned j4 and now after this we have just one option okay c is assigned j3 then d can be assigned j4 if c has been assigned j4 d can be assigned j3 okay then you just take out the cost if c is j3 so till now what is there so let's see about this one a is assigned j2 so 2 b is assigned j1 b is assigned j1 which means a 6 okay so b is assigned j1 okay so 6 and then c is assigned j3 so c is assigned j3 so it's 1 and then d is assigned j4 so it's 4 so it's total it's becoming 10 plus 1 11 plus 2 13 for this one what will happen so it's 2 plus 6 again the same c is assigned j4 c is assigned j4 so it becomes 2 plus 6 plus 8 plus d is assigned j3 so it becomes 9 so 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 6 23 25 so we have now got two complete solutions okay and we see that this is this one is much better 13 we have got a solution where assignment is giving us 13 this is giving us 25 so this is not good this is the minimum solution i have got till now okay now we try again there are a lot of live nodes okay 14 17 17 20 18 so now what they are telling even if you explore this node whatever the assignment cost it its lower bound is 17 i have already got a solution which whose assignments cost is 13 here whatever you search you will have a minimum cost of 17 so not good here also whatever you search any assignment will be at least 20 not good here also 18 is the minimum cost it's greater than 13 i will not search here it's again 14 no use and here also 17 is the lower bound of any assignment no use so now any every search is gone and i have got the answer which is 13 is the cost for the minimum assignment okay so we have got the solution so how many nodes do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 nodes are there if you expand this this was such a big permutation tree so you can see there will be so many nodes here okay so this is saving us a lot of searches and this is the job assignment problem you can also do it on the other way around so here i was assigning in each level a job to a then to b but again the other way it can be done is assign j1 to some person then in the next level assign j2 to some person and so on and this is about the job assignment problem so here the thing is with branch and bound you just maintain a queue of all the live nodes and that should be a priority queue where we should get the when we extract we should get the node with the lowest lower bound okay so i hope you understand this thanks a lot